How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Review is back with a little bit of Tired Hands up in this piece in the form of their Death Tripper. This be a um, our Galaxy IPA, um, hyper fresh, unfiltered and fragile, they call this beer. Um, let's see, it says Savage Bold. This was canned a couple days ago, actually. Yeah, what the hell? Today's the 10th, this is the 13th. Oh no, it's a month and a couple days old. I was like, how the hell is that that fresh? Um, I don't see an ABV in this. So we'll see what's up. Just says IPA, so I assume it's between six and seven minutes, give or take, somewhere right around there. This comes courtesy of my boy, Mike. Um, he's usually tossing me some beers here and there. And this time he actually went down towards Tired Hands and whatnot. Um, picked up a couple different beers. And uh, I'm sure you'll see the other one I post with this one. Label wise, it's, I don't know, it's weird. It's kind of like this weird, mix between kind of like a Maori mask kind of thing going on, but new school kind of, I don't know, goblin art or something? I don't know what's going on. I don't mind it, though. I'm not a big fan of Tired Hands labels, but uh, every now and then uh, they can kind of work for me. As far as the beer goes, that looks like a really nice, soft little hazy. Hopefully it follows suit in the taste. Yeah, it has this kind of rich, hazy, kind of apricot, juicy kind of vibe to it. Pinky Finger, infinitely tight, compact bubble sands. He's stragglers across the top of the beer white as white can be i mean she looks like a super soft super just drinkable chokeable hazy let's get a nose okay i don't think it's placebo effect i think i actually was getting it when i was saying it it smells like apricot juice straight up apricot juice i mean you're getting citrus in there you're getting tropical fruit but i'm really getting such huge gobs of apricot on this it's kind of crazy yeah, it smells really nice. It smells like it's going to have a little bit of um, a bittering pop to it. Nothing too overly soft. It might have a nice kind of counterbalancing kind of greeniness to it. But the way... Listen, if you stripped out all that apricot juiciness from it, it would still be a very big citrus, but more importantly, heavily tropical fruited beer. But the apricot for me is just out of this world. Over the top. I just got to dive in. Cheers. It's delicious. It's absolutely 100% delicious. It's got this nice dryness to it. It's got this nice bittering that comes off green, but not generic green. It's not a hot pelt green. It's a little bit of kind of a tomato stocky kind of vegetal greeniness. I mean, it really does run the gamut of all the impacts that you typically want from a new school kind of hazy IPA. That pop of sweetness at the get followed just by bursting amounts of all that that citrus that tropical fruit more importantly that kind of apricot probably leans a little bit even that tropical fruit at this point but it's definitely there that sweetness starts to dry out a little bit once you start to hit that bittering portion of the road you get that nice green that tomato stocky greenness with this really nice kind of not ultra dryness not bone dryness but dry for an ip of this ilk it's all wrapped around this super sultry super smooth and super drinkable, even though it's that aggressive. Super drinkable, kind of hazy IPA. <sighs> this is probably one of the better tire hands hazies I've ever had. And I do like their hazies, man. I mean, they can be, you know, they can throw the heat when they want to. They definitely have some misses every now and then. But, man, I don't remember having this thing just knee jerkingly delicious from these guys. And it's been some time. And a lot of the beers I've had from them as of late has been a milkshake this, a little weird beer that. So to go back in and have this kind of hazy and have it be this well done, well, I'm assuming at a smaller package, if I'm going to guess the ABV in this, I'm, you know, it's not seven. It's probably like more like six and a half, something along those lines. I just dig it. And whenever you give me that level of apricot, even though it does kind of even keel a little bit more with that kind of tropical fruit in the taste, when you give it that, me that much in the nose, I mean, it's really sultry, really nice, not water nerdy level mouthfeel, but just super tasty drinkable beer. Daddy Likey. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mike. Super fun beer. Um, let's talk about it. Is this one of the better IPAs I've had as of late? Yeah. It's probably Mount Rushmore status. It's just that good. Um, the way it delivers that green, the way it gives you that mouthfeel, the way it gives you that dryness while still maintaining that sweetness, all wrapped around that beautiful amount of kind of apricot juiciness. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. 
not like a country song. I need to kick my own ass now. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um, is it uh, valued availability tire dance? Um, I think they ship COVID style in PA. I have no idea what this is. Brewery only, I assume. Uh, how much does this cost? Mike's gonna let us know and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like new school haze, if you like haze with a little bit of bittering, you like well done hazies. That's what this beer is. I mean, it's just really well done stuff. So yeah. If you like well-done stuff, you'll like this beer. So there you go. A little bit of a review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. You want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little yeah, death tripper right now. We'll see you next time. Cheers.